tile mapping. Let's go up into our material editor. Let's pick on an open sample slot. Let's come down and in our standard type, we're going to go to diffuse. And next to the diffuse, we're going to the right and pick on the map button. When I pick on the mapping button, I'm going to go down and pick on tiles. And it places the tiles. Now, tiles are mainly used to create like bricks and tile work. So when I come down in my pattern setup, this is a stack bond. So down here I have all my types of bricks essentially. So I'll go with a running bond, for example. And in here then, I can come along and say, well, okay, I can pick on all my different things. But in my advanced controls here, you can see I have all my grout colors and the sizes, etc. of the gaps of the grouts and so I can pick on my tiles and say what color do I want my tile and I'm gonna go with kind of a, a brownish color here and I'll say okay and then in my grout I can actually pick the color of my grout and I could probably go with maybe a deeper brown or something uh, so I can say okay and maybe I want to pick a little something a little darker maybe a little closer to there we go and so there I have picked my colors of my grout and my tile. And so now what I want to do is I want to come over and create a box. And I have it selected. I'm going to go over here and make sure I'm in this sample slot. And I'm going to assign it. And I need to set it so that my show uh, shaded material is on in the viewport. And voila, it shows up as some blocking or you know brickwork or tile work or whatever it may be and it shows the different grout materials in the in the brick type materials so uh, tiles are a procedural map that's used to create bricks and tiles